Hey, everybody. Hey, everybody. Welcome. Welcome to Extraordinary Adventures. I'm Laura, and that's... Scott. And we are in Barcelona today. Bienvenido we, a Barcelona. Yes. Except that's Spanish and they speak... Catalan. So I'm useless with my Spanish. <laughs> Um, we are coming to you with a 10-part series. Uh, we are going to go over each and every stop that we made along the way and tell you what we did uh, so you know whether you want to do it too um, or, or if you want to do something else. Hey everybody, this is Laura and Scott from Extraordinary hey Adventures Cruise and Travel and we are interrupting the video you are currently watching to let you know that not only do we create videos like this, we are also cruise travel agents. Yes we are. So if you are looking to book a cruise, we would love to help you. Reach us at any of the information below. Call us, email us, check us out on the web, Instagram, yeah. you name it, we're there. <laughs> We'd love to help you plan your next Extraordinary, Extraordinary Adventure. adventure. Hey guys, hey, so everybody. we are back and we are discussing the next port of call, which was Catacolon or Catacolon, however uh, you pronounce it. We heard it pronounced both ways. So, um, and we did an excursion again directly through Royal Caribbean. Um, it was called the best of Olympia with Greek delicacies. Um, I have to say out of all of the ports, this was the one that I wasn't, really sure what to expect and uh i was really pleasantly surprised by this port it was actually one of my favorites yeah, i really, really loved it um so especially if you're ancient rome ancient greece kind of buff like like i am like she is to a lesser degree but she likes it too you'll love it yeah because it's both greek and rome they don't tell you that in yeah. advance you think you're going to the ancient olympic greek greece site you know yeah and then there's so much rome stuff there too yeah, yeah. so it was really really cool yeah layer upon layer so vast. Gore, it was gore, vast. it was gorgeous. I mean, um, so we took a, we boarded a bus and they took us to Olympia. Uh, for those of you who don't know what Olympia is, that is the birthplace of the Olympics. Um, the actual birthplace of the Olympics. Yeah, the ancient. The ancient Olymp Olympics. Not to be confused, there's an Olympic stadium in Athens that they'll show you when you do the tour of the Parthenon, they'll pick you up and say, oh, look at that. That's when it was re brought about in 1890 something? Something, something like, like 1890 something. They started the Olympics again. Uh, that's different. No. This, that's the modern Olympics. This is the ancient Olympics. The, yes. Um, and the site is so unbelievably vast. Um, and it was just breathtaking. It truly was absolutely. And you need a tour guide again. Yeah. I, whether you do it through Royal or, or not, we, we don't have any skin in the game. It's not like we make money on any of this. But you need a tour guide because you won't understand what you're looking at. Right. They don't really have plaques because it's an open field thing. Right. Uh, they have some plaques, but not really. So when, he, you know, they'll get into explaining the technology and you'll see, oh, oh my God, that's what they're doing. You would not know what, the, what you were looking at no. unless you had a guide. Yeah. So definitely have a guide for that. Absolutely. Um, and then after that, they took us to a winery and farm, uh, agriturismo, basically. Um, and we, I didn't olive, even... Olive oil farm first, it was winery olive second. Oil. Yeah, I didn't even really expect, like they say Greek delicacies, on, and I was like, okay, so I'll have some Greek delicacies. I did not know what we were getting into. Uh, it was the... In a good way. In a great way. It was amazing. The, the, it was, the olive oil that we tasted was some of the best olive oil I've ever had in my entire life. Um, and then... And they, the tastings. Sometimes you get these little somethings and you're like, nice tastings and you're still hungry and you want to go get lunch. Uh-uh. No, it was a whole... Plates of food. Plates. And then, so they give the amazing plate of... And they give you your own bottle of wine with the meal. And then uh, Greek dancers come out and perform a traditional Greek dance right. while you're eating this meal. I just wasn't expecting it. And it was amazing. They really indulged. They really, they really they did didn't skip. a really good job. I will tell you one thing. The individual bottles of wine were because of COVID. I don't know if you heard oh, her say that. Oh, no. She said it was during COVID. When they started to reopen, they wanted to have gotcha. because you can't, you can't touch things back and forth. Oh. So I'm assuming that that means, because she mentioned it, if you go in six months, don't expect your own bottle of wine. You may still get that. They may like it. They may keep it. But that gotcha. was a COVID thing they did. Gotcha. So, and by the way, if people are not sitting at the table with you, you have a cup. You grab one there. So you... <laughs> no. The wine was really good. In fact, I actually Boy, bought yeah. I bought some. Yeah. So I'll leave a link in the description to the Agriturismo. Oh, great little uh, olive oil tasting bar. Yeah. So you can try all the different olive oils. They want, we they bought, want a, yeah. Yeah. 
They won awards for their Like in album. London and Berlin, like all, yeah. all over the place they win awards. And yeah. then there's this whole thing when you get there, you should learn about the olive oil. It's really cool. They have olive oil that ours makes ours look like poop. It's just not, we don't even have good stuff. They have stuff where it's measured by labs to have the phenols that you, like their stuff is off the charts healthy for you. Yeah. They do not have this thing where you cook with olive oil and then you eat the extra virgin. Everything for them is extra virgin. Yeah. It, now for them it's much cheaper over there than it is for us, but they use extra virgin for everything. Yeah. For everything. Well, it was a great day. And yeah, you'll probably buy some olive oil like we did. Yeah, I highly recommend going on this tour. I'm just, I, I heard other people who just did Olympia uh, and didn't get to experience the agriturismo, and I really, really recommend doing both. Uh, so. Yep. yep. Yeah. Absolutely. Do you have anything else to add about uh, Olympia? No. No. It was amazing. No. The port itself doesn't really have a lot there to do, so don't like think you're going to be able to like get off the ship. And, I'll just like, walk around. I'll just wing it. There's really not there's much no there. Up. There's very, very little there. Um, so you would, if you did, you'd be off the boat and back on the boat in about an hour. I but mean. it's called a ship, not a boat. Ship. I apologize. Yes. Ship. Ship. Sorry. Ship. But um, it yeah. Has, it has an half, not a back. Yeah. <laughs> a port, not a left. It's not her actually. It, 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 all week people would drive me nuts. <laughs> it wasn't really hers. But she still calls a boat. Which, you know, mm. She's a travel professional. Yes. <laughs> Sorry. Anyway. Okay, that's it for now. That's it? Yeah. Right. See okay. you in the next one. Bye. Bye, guys. Bye.